Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Learn with Lanthal. Today we're going to play a very old game, copyright 1991, Nigel's World. This is a really great game for learning geography, or at least it was back in the day. Some of the geography has changed, of course, over the years, so there might be some things that aren't quite the same anymore. But back in the day, it was a really awesome game for learning geography. And it's all about you being Nigel, this fella here, in his kilt, being a photographer. Thrilled to meet you, Nigel. I'm Roxy. You say you want to travel the world and discover amazing animals, awesome landmarks, and interesting people, and you want to be a world-famous master photographer? Well, my friend, you've entered the right contest. There are four levels to the contest. You'll start as a shutterbug and work your way up. I'll send you photo assignments by fax machine. You must complete them by deadline. This cluculator, a cluculator, hmm, that's a real word, will help you find your locations. You can get five clues for each subject. Clues cost you points, so use them wisely. This photo log holds up to five photos at a time. When you've finished an assignment, come to my office and turn it in. Ciao, Nigel. See you soon. And here we are, sitting in our lovely little office. A Scottish dog. Scotty dog. Sitting in our kilt. Legs apart, of course, because that's what you do when you're wearing a kilt. There's our spiffy camera. Our spiffy hat. A map of the world. Lovely church view outside the window there. Alrighty, let's get our fax machine going and find out our first assignment. Photo from continent of North America. I'm actually going to turn that down. Don't like it, throw it away. Oh, I missed. So, first thing I want to show you is this. <clears throat> there are four levels, as, the, as Roxy said. Shutterbug, shooter, photogra photographer, I guess, photog and master. Um, I'm actually going to run through each one of those with one mission each, so you can see the difference in levels. It's very, very cool. There's a great progression um, in difficulty, and, um, and I'll show you how that works. So we'll start off with the Shutterbug. I think that was the first one. Was it Shutterbug? Shutterbug, yeah. So we'll start off at Shutterbug. We'll do a mission on the Shutterbug, and then we'll move up the next level and do a mission there, and then we'll do... So we'll do one mission at each level, so you can see the differences between them all. All right, fax machine, let's go. Photo from continent of Europe. Sure, let's go to Europe. So, so this is really cool. So here's the world map, and look, all the continents are actually question marked out. So it's it's about learning what the world, you know, how the world goes. So you need you learn where the continents are. So you have to learn that this one is Europe, and then click on it. Do 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 do. Two days travel. Europe, Europe, and then they little sound file to say the continent. Okay, and then we have to go and take some pictures. So let's go and take a picture of people first. People of Germany are called Germans. Germany is a country in Europe. The baby is driving a pretend car. Walking in the forests of Germany is a favorite activity of the people. There you go. And so that's been put into our photo log. Let's go back to our map. So we've got a picture of a person. Let's go and take a photo of an animal. Ooh, it's a falcon. Cheese. Peregrine falcons usually nest in the mountains, sea cliffs, and sometimes trees. Very cool. I was a big animal fan, so I knew all about the peregrine falcon when I was a kid. And now we need to take a photo of a place. It's Neuschwanstein Castle. This castle is in Germany, a country in Europe. We don't seem to be going anywhere. Let's take a photo. Lovely. Neusch Neuschwanstein Castle was a fantasy project of the eccentric King Ludwig II. Now, I think... From memory, that this castle's mentioned in another game. Um, not Broken Sword, what's the other one? Gabriel Knight. Gabriel Knight 2, actually, Beast Within. I'm pretty sure that castle's in that one too. So, there you go. Right, so we've got our photos. Let's go and see Roxy and get our prize. Excellent work, my friend. Woohoo! We're so good. And we get 40 points. Yay! Alright, so now we're going to up the difficulty. So that was 
the easiest level. So it's just the continent. Right? Now let's go up to Shooter and see what the difference is. Ring, ring! Photo from country of Kenya. Okay, so we're going to a single country now. Yay. So again, you need to know where the country is. So they've actually labelled the continents this time, so you can see the continents, but you need to know that the country of Kenya is in Africa. So you click on Africa. Two day travel. Do, 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 do. And you, have, you can get clues if you need them. I'm going to try and do it without clues. Now, I know that this is Egypt. I know that this is Tanzania, I think. I'm pretty sure this is Kenya here. Driving my little Jeep. Do, do, do. Kenya. Salama. Salama. So they tell you how to say hello as well. So that's really cool. People of Kenya are called Kenyans. This girl from the Maasai tribe. This girl is from the Maasai tribe. The Maasai also live in Tanzania. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Back to Kenya. And let's get an animal. Elephant. Zebra. It's a pair of zebras. Zebras sometimes rest with their heads across each other's backs. Cool. Cool story. Cool story. And it's Savo National Park, but that's an ostrich, so we're taking photos of animals again. It's not a bit of a landmark, oh, I suppose it is. Many people go on photo safaris in Savo National Park. Cool, let's go back to Kenya. Salama, welcome to Kenya. And if you push this button, you'll get the national anthem. Cool. Cool. Alright, let's go home. Visit Roxy. Hello, Roxy! How do you like my photography? Oh, yes, just perfect. So good. 44 points. Alright, so that's the shooter level. Let's go up to photog level. We're gonna be a photog. Back to the aim. Bring, bring! Photos from Mexico, Soviet Union, and India. So we're actually going to do a bit of a travel around the world now. Mexico, Soviet Union, and India. So here's an example of where we're a bit outdated. Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore. Um, so let's start in Mexico. Over to North America. It reminds me of uh, the dude from the Wild Thornberries. Mexico. Alright, so we only have five possible photos available in our photo... Hola. And um, in our photo log. So we're only going to take one photo of Mexico and one, uh, we'll do like animals in Mexico. It's an iguana. Oh, cheer up, Nigel. You're getting all grumpy. Looks more like a chameleon to me, but... Iguanas are usually bright green. When captured, they fade to brown or grey. Oh. That's sad. They get all depressed. Okay, so we're just taking a photo of the animal in Mexico. Now we're going to go to... Hmm. Is the Soviet... Oh, we're going to go to Asia, I'll assume... By the looks of the way they've done that map, Soviet Union will be in Asia. Soviet Union, there we go. So we took the animal... I, I couldn't hear that. Um, we took the animal photo in... Um, Mexico, so we'll take the photo of the building in the Soviet Union, I reckon. It's St. Basil's Cathedral. Looks like a big line. Jump! Jump! 
photo. The colourful onion domed cathedral is a combination of nine churches. Well, there you go. Never been to Russia. I'd like to do that one day. That's cool. All right, back to the world map. No, well, we didn't need to go to the world map. We need to go to the Asian map because India is also in Asia. So we're going to go down here. It was India, wasn't it? India. Was India the no, third one? Day. Or am I making stuff up? Um, people of India are called Indians. About 80% of the people live in rural India and work in agriculture. Cool. Um, I'm going to click on my clues because photos from... Oh, there we go. Photos from Mexico, Soviet Union, and India. Alright, cool. So we've done that. Let's go see Roxy. Thanks, Nigel. I knew I could count on you. 110 points. Yay! How about playing for double or nothing on the music bonus round? Hmm. Yes, let's do it. Listen carefully to the music, then choose the country it's from. Oh dear. Hmm. I'm guessing the Soviet Union. Am I right? Yay! That's right, the song is from the Soviet Union. Woohoo! 220 points, that's because we're so awesome! Okay, and final round. Let's be a master. A master. I can't be a master! How many points do I need to be a master? Boo! I want to be a master. Alright, fine, we'll do another round at photog photog level then. Ring ring! Photos from Germany, Mexico, and Norway. I've already been to Mexico. <sighs> Alright, let's go to Mexico again. Mexico! Is it going to be the same animal? I don't know. Mexico! Mexico! Hola! Hola! Right, let's let's get the building this time. It's the Temple of Tulum. Dude's got money. I'm assuming that's an orange. Or it's a ball he's going to pelt at me. The ancient temple called Castillo was once a worship site for Mayans. Cool. Right, so we've done Mexico. Let's get to Europe. And let's do... We need to go to Germany and see this is how it's really cool is that you need to know where these countries are in these continents so it's not just a case of it tells you where you go you've got to know this information to be able to find it so it's a really good way to learn where all the countries are um, we did the building didn't we let's do an animal it's a falcon oh, we already came to Germany before didn't we Female falcons lay between three and six reddish brown eggs yearly. So there's cool, let's, lots of different information coming up. Sweet. Um, back to Europe. Now we need to go to Norway, which is... That one's Finland. Uh, is it that one or that one that's Norway? I don't remember. Let's click on this one. See if we're right. Nope, I was wrong. Sweden. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go to Norway. <coughs> Norway. All right, so we did. We need to people. North Sea oil wells, Norway. Iceland. People of Norway are called Norwegians. We're going to go go karting. Vroom vroom! In a chilly place to live, half of Norway is located above the Arctic Circle. Hmm. Cool. This dude's chilling. Right, let's go and see Roxy. We've got our photos. 
Amazing, you've got quite an eye, Nigel. Thank you. Is that enough for me to be able to do the master yet? No. No, not at all. Okay, well, look.